Hello, my name is Professor TK the Chemist and today we're going to discuss another type of nuclear equation that deals with positron emissions, okay? So you probably wonder, positron emissions, what is that? Let's get into this discussion. Positron, when I hear that term, I think of something that is positive. Positron, positivity, okay? Now, in the chemistry world, when something is positive, that means we're going to subtract or deduct or take away from that process. Let's explain what a positron does. First off, a positron emission is a proton in an unstable nucleus that is converted to a neutron and a positron. There's that word again. Now, while the neutron remains in the nucleus, the positron is emitted from it, meaning it's kicked out, beamed out. Now, the, now, we're going to show you how to write a balanced nuclear equation for manganese-49, which decays by emitting a positron. Let's go ahead and get into this process here. Now, the first thing you have right here is telling you that you have manganese-49. So, I'm going to write manganese-49 at the very top. And the bottom number is going to be manganese's uh, atomic number, which is 25, according to my periodic table. And you're looking for what that new element has become as a result of being hit with a positron. Now, you may recall in the previous video, when we were talking about beta emissions, beta had a negative one, whereas with a the positron, there's a positive one. Now, because we're going to look for this new chemical process, we're going to have to rearrange our equation by solving for the top number. So to solve for that top number, which is this number here that I'm going to highlight, to solve for that portion, what I need to do is say, all right, well, 49 equals what number plus zero? Well, remember, any number that you add or subtract zero from is going to still be that number, okay? So we're going to put 49 at the very top, right here. Now, the bottom number, which is the glue or the key to telling us what is this new element going to be, okay? Here we go. 25 equals what number plus 1? Well, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. And we end up with 24 because 25 minus 1 gives us 24. So we're going to put 24 as the new number. And if we look at our periodic table, 24 identifies us with element chromium. So the new element that has been transmuted to become is chromium.